Hello, today on Drawing with Mrs. Burke, we are going to draw a cat. A cat. I drew a pretty big cat on my paper. So, to get started with our cat, we need a pencil and an eraser and a marker. And I did my cat brown, whenever you'd like to draw your cat. And then I did the heart in the middle with a red and I just drew it lightly. And it was probably a violet red. And I switched that out. So it ended up being pink. So a pencil, an eraser, a marker, a brown, and a red or a pink for the heart. And go get your marker, pencil, get all of that with your paper. And join me with a piece of paper, put on landscape style, and we will get started with our cat. Now, oh, we don't want landscape because landscape is long. Unless you're drawing a small cat this way. We want to draw a tall kitty. So you're going to do your paper long ways. Now, the cat is, cat's head is going to go up here. This is, this is the top of your paper. Here's the cat's head. We need space for ears. Okay, so I'm going to put the head right here. Okay, that's the cat's head. Now I know this part's going to seem weird, but we have to see where the cat ends on the end of the paper. So, here's the end. See where my finger is right there? End. So, I, I'm going to put his feet here because then I'll know where to draw his body. So I'm going to draw his feet right here. Two little oval pieces that are right there. Okay, can you see that from the feet? Now see how big the cat's going to be. Now if I drew the body first, I may just drew it really short, short because I wouldn't know where the end of the paper is. So this way you, you know where the cat's head is, you know where the cat's end of the cat is. Now we're going to draw the body. So we're going to start here and I'm going to do this side over there. So I'm going to do here down to the foot and it's going to go in the middle right there. So it's kind of wide because it comes and it sits down like that. This side the same way. There you go. There's your cat sitting down. Now, it wasn't too bad. Now we've got to put ears on the cat. Now, cat ears are more, not totally pointed, they can be. Um, I'm going to go a little rounded. I think I actually made them more pointed on my kitty, just because I liked that. I think kitty ears are more pointed. I don't have a cat, because I'm allergic to cats. So I'm going to point them. Okay, when I do the marker, it'll be better. Then we're going to do another inside of the ear, like that. So we have the head, the body, the feet, clear down here at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to draw a nose. Cute little black upside down triangle nose, okay. Upside down triangle nose for the cat. And then one of these smells that go off like this, and like that. These are how cats go. And then we're going to do eyes. Eyes for the cat. And eyebrows. Now if you wanted your cat to be more questioning, like, ah, dog's after me, or... I mean, you could do eyebrows like this. Just look with the eyebrows. Look how that made them look kind of vicious. The eyebrows like that. And if you have eyebrows like this, it looks more inquisitive, which is, oh, what's going on today? So we're going to do it like this. And then we're going to have three whiskers coming out from the nose here. One. Two, three, 
that middle one's kind of weird. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now we still need a tail. The tail starts clear down here. I'm going to start right here. Okay, see where the foot is? And it's kind of like in, uh, when we drew a mouse and how, um, if you haven't done that yet, but it's very a, a squiggly line like this. Okay. There's the mouse tail. Now, the one thing we're missing is the heart in the middle. Draw a big heart. Cats are so lovable, aren't they? I'm going to make him more, more smiley so he's lovable. Okay, let's see if we've got it. We've got a head. We've got the two feet down here. We've got the body. We have the ears. The ears are up here. We have the nose. And two eyes. The mouth. Whiskers. Eyebrows. And one tail. It is time to outline. Let us outline. We're going to outline. So outline. And we're going to outline this oval carefully. Notice with me, I don't talk a lot when I'm working really intensely. Have you noticed that? I have to stop to talk to you. Okay. Because otherwise I mess up. Here is the nose. And we're just going to color that in. I'm not even going to... Uh, I may have colored that not black before, but I am now. And the whiskers. Okay, now I have lots of lines I need to um, erase. You see that? Lots of them. So get the eraser out. Let's erase. I'll start up here on the top. Work my way down. Lines, headlines, I hope you've enjoyed drawing with me because it's been fun for me to draw with you. I've really enjoyed it. It helps me because I miss being with you. Okay, now we have our cat. I oh, gotta go up a little bit because we are we are so big with this picture. I mean, go up here. Goodness. The picture is so big. Look at that. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to do. Um why don't you just color the pink? Color the pink heart. Then I'll be done, and then we won't worry about getting color into it. So let's color the pink heart. And I just had a red that I'm coloring lightly. But you can do anything you want. Oh, 
Okay, now, and would it be so bad if you went over just a little bit in this? No, because we're going to color brown there. Or gray, or whatever you're coloring your cat. Now, my other cat, I colored this light brown. I think I'm going to color this pink this time because kitty ears do have pink inside their ears. So I'm going to color this right here pink. All right. Now, now we have brown left. I think we just need to color. I'm going to color the feet feet down here. So we got it done. You could color that a different color if you wanted to. I'm going to color the ears. Now it's your cat. You can do whatever you want with it. So you get to color this cat. Now, this is a lot of coloring for me to do since I already made the sample. So I am going to let you finish this cat. And I'm going to show you the other one I made. And get the camera just right there. Oh boy, I'll take it away and then move it. Okay, here's our cat. So you just have the two colors, but I have the brown as a little darker there, and it was just really pretty easy to do. But enjoy making your cat and drawing some pictures with your cat. Hey, see you next time on Drawing with Mrs. Burke.